officially on the ice. November 17th. I've been on it earlier, but uh, this year was just a bad year. A matter of fact, I think it was uh, November 3rd. Uh, between that point over there and that other far shore is where I crossed November 3rd with a quad. This year we crossed the lake with a boat yet. So uh, we're on the ice, so I think maybe tomorrow or day after I'll make a break across. I got to hit that point. As far as you can see into your left, I got a bunch of uh, Martin sets and wolf sets. I want to get back into there again. So, but I'm uh, going to check the ice out good tomorrow. Just after I record that first little piece, I looked up and here comes uh, some machines. And they're coming straight for me. They're breaking trail, so I guess uh, the lake is all good. It's, uh, I believe it's Clinton and his buddy because they had come to the shack earlier and they said that they were going to come on out to the lake so that's got to be them but they're coming right across where i was going to hit tomorrow so that's good we got a track as uh, they pull in a little closer here <laughs> Yeah, that's the boys. You're still afloat. Oh, it's going. Ice is good, eh? Oh, yeah. What we got, five inches? Six to ten some places, but good six inches for sure. Straight on. I just did a little here, a little clip earlier, and I said I was going to break trail here tomorrow, but... I looked up and here you guys come across, so. Nice. Oh, it's good. Good to go now. Good. Right on. Yeah. Just running out to bait those wolf sets now. And uh, last time I was in, I set some traps, uh, Martin Fisher sets, and uh, come along and we got one. So, not too bad. That would be... Oh, he's soft yet. I just caught him last night. So, it's a smaller one. It could be a juvenile. We like to see that. That's number three. Some of the other Martin sets that I make, I, I do have my box there, and I, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I just stuck some beaver meat up in there. Then I run a wire between two trees where my trap swings off that. So reason being is when he's caught here, uh, especially some of these spruce, you can see this one's got sap on. I do not want him laying against this to get the sap in there. So he'll swing down and hang away from the tree. So that's uh, one of the methods here in, in, you know, in the big spruce trees where the sap is leaking out of them. Uh, a lot of places, if it's in the pine or whatever, and there's no sign of it. I don't run the wire or nothing, so I just hook it off inside the box. I'll get the trap in there and we're on to the next one. So what I did here, this is an old beaver dam in here. It had washed out and uh, the animals, they like using that. And uh, I'm gonna try getting a snare in there too. The wolves, they come down through. You can see where the coyotes and that been crossing. And right off the end of this old dam, I see all kinds of uh, mink and maybe even a fish or two so i made myself a set so what i did here just in front of the trap just make like a donut out of a bunch of uh grass and stuff my beaver and is in the box there and i got a uh 120 waiting for him and we'll see what happens but yeah this is uh the spot just right in here on the other end of this dam in the big trees is where i caught that koi wolf about 10 years ago so i got him tanned up but uh it's a nice country in here, so we'll just wait and uh, see what happens. Okay, this is the first check on some of these wolf snares. I've seen the ground was all tore up here from a distance. Right where I got my ribbon hanging, so I could see it back there. So I come up and I'm checking it out. It's gone. And I thought, oh, oh we got a broken snare. But this is why, guys. Right there. The breakaway 
gave away. Which goes to here, that makes your loop. And the reason being is if you catch deer, they bust loose. And I was looking, and that's exactly what I had. So I feel better. Because I thought for sure, for sure, uh, the looks of it, I couldn't find a track right away. And I thought maybe I lost a wolf, but that's why we have to use breakaways. It's a good thing you will lose the odd wolf, but you know what? We save a lot of deer that way as well. Hopefully it don't happen no more. So what I'm doing here, I'm uh, putting tire change on the back end. And what I want to do is get the back end up and I haven't got a jack. So we're going to use this little roller here. I can get the chains underneath it, so we'll get the chains on her. There, we're all rigged up, and I, I got a chance you now to be able to turn this wheel to do these chains up. And one guy had asked why you still use a tub trailer is uh, why don't I use a toboggan? Well, it's easy. Up here, there's so many stumps, I had a toboggan, and you just, all you do is, uh, you pound the bottom out of them. Well, we're going to have to get this a little later. I'll, I'll take another shot once we get her on, but that's the whole idea, be able to turn it and get the chains tight, so, but, uh, yeah. So I got to use a tub trailer or I'm going to make skis and put on it because uh, there's so many stumps here. You get any kind of load, you just pound the bottom out of your toboggan and it lasts you maybe a week, if that. So there, see, once we got it, I can turn this, this, uh, the wheel to get all my cross chains in line. And that way they're not coming loose on me halfway through the day. Now I can grab another one here, you see. Maybe two. No, I'll do a little adjusting on this one again. Here you would do it this way. There. So now what I'll do to take up the slack, I'll just run a bungee cord on the outside here. These chains got a little a little rusted up. I'll just run across uh, a bungee cord here just to take up a little bit of slack. But I'll see if I can get some more off the other side. Well, just got back to the shack here and uh, ain't much to eat around here, so I gotta cook up some of that old fish. <laughs> I don't know, but boy, I'm gonna eat good. There's some taters and onions. Along with the fish, so Tim keeps looking over here at me like he's gonna get some. But uh, he's already relaxed. Somebody had asked me how old he was. Well, he's about 12 months right now, so he's just a pup. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be supper tonight, so uh, no, it's just me. I think I should fill up on this. <laughs>